Now, it's overdue and over budget, but one of the CalMac ferries being built at Ferguson Shipyard on the Clyde has finally sailed under its own power for the first time. The MV Glen Sanex made a short journey downriver in its first sea trial ahead of delivery this summer. However, frustration continues in some communities about the level of service they're currently receiving. Our news correspondent, Jamie McIver, reports. Six years after she was launched by Nicola Sturgeon, the Glen Sanox finally set sail. A short journey down the river, a hopeful sign a long saga may be coming towards its end. Islanders in Arden have grown increasingly frustrated after years of problems with their lifeline service. And the union representing workers at the Port Glasgow shipyard feels frustrated too. I'm not speaking for the community in Arden, but I am aware that businesses are closed, bookings are down. Um, people haven't got confidence in the ferry service, uh, young people are leaving the island and the same in my community in this shipyard. Young people who've just come out of their apprenticeships are saying, have we got a future, a long-term future here? The Glen Sanox and her sister vessel can't come soon enough for Arden. The vessel being used in the service this week is 40 years old and it's been running from Troon, not Ardrossan. Cancellations and inconvenience have become familiar. Foot passengers need to get a bus from the train to the ferry. Today I came over for an urgent appointment to a dentist and the, I was, the time arranging that was really fraught. Changing my sailings several times, uh, not telling me about them, telling me I could take my car and then telling me I couldn't take my car. And the big thing for me is there's no buses in Brodick uh, for an hour and a half after the boat gets in. So it's... You know, instead of arriving in daylight and stuff, um, I'm going to be, it's going to be eight o'clock by the time I get over to the other side of Arran. Businesses in Arran depend on the ferry too, and some argue the government needs to help them. We, we've come out of COVID, um, so the, the, that was tough enough. Uh, so there's no ready cash, there's no fighting fund. That's all been rinsed because we all had to make a business to survive during that period. So this period has been prolonged since COVID. It, before COVID, we were promised a new boat or two new boats, new harbours, all the rest. I've been waiting for all of that. And it feels like we can survive COVID, but we can't survive this crisis. So the message to all our community and customers is that we're really sorry for the current disruption um, to Aaron. Uh, we understand how difficult it's been for, for everyone involved. But just to reassure that everyone at CalMac is working incredibly hard to provide the best service we can. Uh, and given the problems we've got at our draws and to shift the servers across to True, which we've done uh, very rapidly and it's to the best of our capabilities. Weeks of sea trials now lie ahead for the Glen Sanox, but there's no news yet on just when she may be carrying passengers. Jamie McIver, reporting Scotland.